Hey y'all, it's me Roxy G. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's gonna be another in detail video with my very first Chanel handbag. And it's called the Chanel Sacrabat. So if you're browsing through the French website, it is uh, labeled as Sacrabat and also to my receipt. And if you're browsing through the US website, it is just simply labeled as a flap bag. So this is a bi-material uh, flap bag from their 2016 Spring Summer collection um, from their Chanel Airlines collection, I believe. So this is uh, made out of um, tweed and it, the leather is called a gray, uh, green capskin, if you can see. And also the bag is in full silver hardware. So as far as I can remember, the bag came out in like three variations. One is this one, which is uh, black and white. And then the other one is um, blue and uh, blue and red and another blue and other com other color combination. So here is the other uh, variation for this bag. So it has, um, so it is in blue with like ruthenium uh, gunmetal hardware. So the uh, top handle is in red, but the other parts of the leather or the other leather parts are in blue. But um, why I ended up with this bag because I feel like the black and white combination is kind of timeless, like more of an all season bag compared to this one. Um, nothing against to those who loved it, but I feel it's more of like playful side. And looking at it, it's another blue bag and I already have like two blue bags. So I guess let's go for another variation. Even though I like the design, I can, I feel that, you know, it's kind of hard for you to, like, match it with your clothes, especially with the stickers. And I feel it's more of like a casual, playful side. But this one, it's more of like a timeless, classic, chic piece. Even though it's just black and white, you know, you can wear this a little bit of formal, a bit classy, dressy. But it can still be as casual as you want it to be. So... First, let's go to the exterior of the bag. So in front, you have your CC or the interlocking CC logo, which is in silver. And I guess this is the first time I've seen an interlocking CC logo with another small logo in here. I don't know if you can see. There's like a small um, detail on this part. That is another Chanel logo. It says Chanel logo, another interlocking CC and the word or the name Paris and the logo and then on the, on the bottom we have your four feet with no um, four studs with no Chanel logo and then on the side it looks like this and on the back which I, I really love is an exterior pocket um, this is I believe more than six inches and this is an ASUS Zenbone 6 phone um, it's around six and a half inches, so it fits perfectly if uh, it's, it's uh, you wanted to close it or if you wanted to stand um, your phone standing up, it's still fine. And then you have a snap button closure here with another um, interlocking CC logo, which I believe you cannot see. And then here at the washer, there's like a surprise here in the on the. Uh, part which I didn't really see while I was checking it on the store. I hope the camera will pick it up. So, in this washer, well, both washers have um, Chanel logo in, uh, below. If you can see the shadow of Chanel in there, and then on top of that, this like writing in here, it says Rue uh, 31 Rue Cambon Paris. And I guess this is the first time I've seen like a flap bag, or you can correct me if I'm wrong, that the washers for the other um, bags doesn't have that. So I guess, I don't know if it's like a special release, but well, it's a nice surprise and a new kick for the flap bags that they have. So let's now go to the interior of the bag. On the flap, you have still the grain uh, cap skin. Well, as you can see, I still have the blue sticker, and then I have here the long strap, which I tied with a ribbon, and I'll go in detail with that in a bit. So, in the inside, you have your zipper uh, pocket in here. I still have the blue sticker, but I guess I will have it uh, 
retained since um, public will not see it. And then here is the made in stamp, so Chanel made in Italy. And then on the other part, you have the tools uh, interior pocket. And the interior is made out of um, quilted fabric. And the hologram sticker is somewhere around in this um, bottom right corner. So actually the bag is really intended for like a longer carrying option. Um, it's either made for like a shoulder strap well, a, sh a shoulder bag or a cross. It's really a doable crossbody bag. So here is uh, a mod shot of the bag while I'm carrying it as a shoulder strap and using the longer strap. And then after the SA taught me how to tie it, it is a doable shoulder bag. So while we were doing the transaction, well, I asked her, well, what if I wanted, is there a chance for me like to carry it as a shoulder piece? So she told me that she also does this to the other bags. So she got an extra, uh, she got an extra ribbon and she gave it to me as well. So just stitch the ribbon to like on the inside of the chain, just to make it tight. Or even though you uh, just tie the ribbon, um, without putting it inside the chain it's it's also fine so she told me no um you know get your ex uh, desired length and then get a ribbon and then tie it so here it looks like you can see and then just tie it and voila it's already a shoulder piece but actually this bag is really intended for um as a crossbody or for you to use the longer strap so she just shared me like a trick for me to carry it in different ways though you can carry it as like a top handle or you can carry it by this as a crossbody and also with a longer strap for your shoulder bag so this is the style code if you are interested Let's just cover something else. So here it is. It's called the Sakurabat. That is the style code, A33, etc, etc. So if you have any question with regards to this uh, item, uh, you can comment it down below and I would gladly answer it for you. Um, you can follow me outside YouTube and check my Instagram account at it's me, Roxy underscore G. For more updates here on YouTube, click the subscribe button since subscription is free. Once again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!